Are you serious? Are you serious? 2012 has been a year like none other. Besides the fact that, again, on New Year's Eve, 5,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in B.B., Arkansas, just before the beginning of another New Year's Eve, right at New Year's Eve. Catastrophic events have been going on around the world. Hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanoes, cyclones, typhoons, tsunamis, wars and rumors of wars, and the threat now of Hurricane Sandy as it comes ashore, hanging a left right toward the East Coast and New Jersey. New York City, Washington, D.C. being drowned and will be completely drowned and flooded probably in the next 36 hours. Also, Long Island could completely be swamped as a catastrophic storm, an apocalyptic event greater than even the movie 2012 could portray with John Cusack and Woody Harrelson. I'm telling you now, you're living in apocalyptic hour. We're on the edge of eternity. We're at the brink of the beast, the new world order, the RFID microchips being implemented in different places, whether it's forced upon citizens of the Philippines or demanded by to school children in San Antonio, Texas. We have gay marriage now in five states and three states that's on the ballot this November 6th. We're a nation in peril with unemployment at 23 million here in America. And worldwide, we've seen riots in Greece and England this past summer. And Spain, we've had a run on the banks. Portugal is broke. Ireland's in trouble. America's dollar has died. And we're $16 trillion in debt. But Hurricane Sandy is coming ashore. Frankenstorm, it's also known as, which is going to, besides all the gale force winds and heavy rain, hail and, and storm surge, a, a, a full moon that's bringing upon a huge tide. We have a snow blizzard coming from Canada that's going to drop a foot of snow or more on West Virginia. Sleet and hail, power outages and shortages of water and food. There's no question these things, this will be life as the norm in the next week to two weeks in the Northeast. And somebody out there needs to realize that your only hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me read to you just for a moment what the Bible said in Psalms 91. I read this last night live on my radio show, and I'll read it again today. Don't miss my radio show today. Live from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be giving playing updates on the storm the entire three hours from live feed from the Weather Channel. And Pastor Begley will stay right there with you through this catastrophe as the storm inches up and seems to be rushing upon the shore's of the Northeast. The Bible said in Psalms 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome poise, a pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, and thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that waste is at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousands at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt, not, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion 
and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Psalms 27, verse 1 and 5. And when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43, 2. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. He might say, how do I rejoice in catastrophic events? Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Wow, praise the Lord. For the Lord will bless the righteous with favor, and with thy and when thou compass him as with a shield. Psalms 5, 11 and 12. And of Benjamin, he said, the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safely by him, and the Lord shall cover him all day long, all day long. And he shall dwell between the shoulders. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall destroy them. Are you serious? It's time to give your life to the Lord. 